the appeal to me of the Bigfoot topic is the consistency of accounts of it throughout legends and folklore and literature and um, even previous to any photographic um, evidence of it. There is an animal out here, nobody seems to know what it is. How do we study that and, and make it a reality? The documents are still there waiting in the file in courthouses and libraries and historical societies, and these stories need to be researched again. If you went down and talked to farmers on that road today, they're probably similar to what people are reporting in that area today. We had been out there investigating repeated sightings, screams, and the glowing eye incidents. A lot of these creatures generally range from six to about nine feet tall, sometimes very broad-shouldered, very long arms, sometimes extending down beyond the knees, almost to the ground in some cases. I'm one of those individuals that tend to think there's a different kind of hairy creature in the South that's more chimpanzees like. It is the skunk ape, but there are equal number of sightings in Louisiana, in Mississippi, in Oklahoma, in Texas, Southeast Texas. People misconstrue what we're trying to do. We're not trying to prove Bigfoot's real. Everybody in the Olympic Project pretty much has had an experience or a sighting, and we're kind of in the knowing camp. We're trying to do as much documentation as we can of evidence, and what we're trying to do is develop patterns over time. Then we might start being able to work towards predictability.